Tab S7, Android 11, One UI 3.1 update. I will show you six main features today. However, I will list them all at the end of this video, of course. And what I can tell you already, it is the battle of ecosystem. It is on. It is so on, you have no idea. It all makes sense once you watch the entire video. Okay, guys, starting with a big bang here. Number one, second screen slash dual screen capabilities. So many people may say this is the same as Apple has sidecar and in principle, that is absolutely true. But what is different here? The differentiation here is simply it works for all Windows laptops instead of just for the Galaxy laptop lineup. So there's already that differentiation in hardware or across all hardware devices. And a couple of things you should really know because it works from device to device. You don't have to be on the same wireless network as the other device. So that's already a good step forward here. In order to activate, you need to do the following. You basically swipe down your quick settings, right? You have this little icon there, screen, second screen, dual display capabilities. You tap on it, and then you will be greeted with two options, right? Number one is, do you want to go into game mode? This has a faster response. Number two is, do you want to have a drawing mode? And this gives you a more kind of leveled experience, if you like. And it is needless to say that resolutions and refresh rate will obviously adjust to the levels you've chosen, right? And the rest you probably know anyway. If you have used dual monitors before, you know what to do. You can either duplicate your screen, what I have done here, or you can extend your screen, which is really my preferred option in order to have more screen real estate and be more productive. So that feature is coming in the 3.1 update. Main feature number two, and this is share your wireless keyboard. So what does it mean? You go into the basic settings of your keyboard settings in the menu, of your Tab S7 and you can register up to three devices. So let me explain. Let's say you have your Tab S7 and your S20 or S21 or any Galaxy smartphone next to it and then you go into keyboard settings and then you connect the keyboard to your smartphone next to it. And what does it mean? Again, you can register up to three devices so you can basically swap the devices as you please. What does it mean? You put it next to it, you have your keyboard attached to your Tab S7, then you can simply use that keyboard here in, on your Galaxy phone, on your smartphone next to it. You can write something, or you can even use the mouse here, right? Look at this. You can, you can use the mouse here on your Galaxy phone next to it. You can see this little mouse icon going up and down. And I guess, I suppose it is for productivity. It makes you, or uh, it is supposed to be making you doing your more productivity when it comes to having two devices, two Samsung devices simultaneously next to each other. Moving on to number three, and this is sync your clipboard. And many of you probably know this from Apple already, but it comes to the Galaxy Tab S7 and Tab S7 Plus series now. What does it mean? You have your phone, your Galaxy S20, S21, whatever it is, you have it next to it and you copy something, you copy a link, you copy a text, and then voila, you paste it on the device next to it, which is in this case, the Galaxy Tab S7. So you know what, you know, I used to basically text and, and send the links from my phone to myself, hands up. If you guys done it, I've done it loads, but this is over now because the 3.1 update will give you that possibility. But it also works the other way around, right? You can copy something from your Tab S7 to your phone and you will see a little button down here like in, in your text and you press there and then basically paste it on your phone. So this capability is coming now on the Tab S7, Tab S7 Plus. Number four, you can use applications from your Tab S7 on your Galaxy phone. How does it work? Well, basically when you have your Galaxy Tab S7 open, you know the little icon on the left hand side on the bottom, you press it, you got all your overview of the applications you have open running in the background. And on the bottom, you will see the icons, right? You will see there's an icon. And for example, you have the Samsung internet open here on your Galaxy phone. The same icon appears here. The difference, however, is that there's a little image of that smartphone integrated, incorporated in that icon. That means you click on an icon, you tap on it, and voila, you can see that application on your Tab S7 from your Galaxy phone. However, there is a word of caution. It only works for two applications as of today. Number one, Samsung Internet. Number two, Samsung Notes. It is needless to say that more applications will obviously follow and will be supported. Number five is new design and new features. And the whole menu system has been tidied up and has been consolidated, right? And the whole system looks more rounded. It looks fresher. It is a more fresher look and feel. And I want to give you that example here when you have the quick settings. The quick settings used to be like 
on the edge of the screen and that moved down a little bit and it has more rounded corners. And I'm gonna show you that example here for the volume um, control, right? It used to be on the top and it goes to from the left to right and right to left. Now it's on the side, right? It comes out from the right to the left and then you can see this here, the whole controls look uh, more fresh and basically rounded corners and it will appeal to more people, right? I also want to highlight a couple of features and the feature we know, double tap to wake your screen, that is available. But now you can do the same in reverse. You can basically double tap and put your screen to sleep or put your device to sleep. So double tap to wake and double tap to go to sleep. So that feature is available also in 3.1. Another feature I would like to mention and highlight is the video enhanced feature and the kind of the name gives it away, right? Um, I've, I've been looking at this, uh, basically what it means that when you play or when you have video playback, it is giving you a better picture, it's giving you a better video playback and I can see that noise level have been reduced in that video enhanced feature. Number six, and that is Galaxy Buds auto switching and we know this from the AirPods, right? What does it mean? You have your Galaxy Buds Pro connected to the Galaxy S20, S21, whatever phone you have, and then you have it also connected on your Tab S7. You listen to music on this device, you stop playing, and you continue playing music here, it will automatically switch and vice versa. And here also an important point or word of caution, it will only work for the Galaxy Buds Pro as of today, the Buds Live and the Buds Plus will follow later, will be supported later, basically. So all of this has been rolled out in Korea for the Tab S7 5G, Tab S7 Plus 5G version, and it will obviously trickle down to the Tab S7, right? And it is scheduled to come in Europe in March, and then it will go to the US afterwards. But you never know with Samsung. I think it's gonna come earlier over here or the US because everything seems to be pulled forward these days when it comes to Samsung devices and updates. So guys, let me know in the comments below which feature you like the most or you're looking forward to the most. And don't go yet because I have the full list of features coming up now, minus the dual screen, just to go ahead. Thank you for watching, list coming up now. Peace out. Thank you.